Hello, and welcome to episode two of this three-part series, Sunkissed Family Segments. I'm Chef Dev, and I'll be your host today. In these episodes, we will be sharing with you heirloom family recipes and the tips and tricks to make them a success at home. Hopefully, eventually, you'll put your own twist on these same recipes. When it comes to vitamin C and fresh citrus, there is no better expert than Sunkist a cooperative of family growers in California, and they grow nearly 40 varietals of citrus. As a home cook, as a chef, it doesn't get more exciting because there's endless possibilities for food and drink. Today, I'm going to be joined by my beautiful mother. Come on in, come on, get in here. How are you? And we're going to be sharing with you our heirloom recipe, a recipe that I grew up with, Blood Orange Crepe Suzette. This has been your favorite since you were a little child. This is a recipe that actually, I remember if I smelled this, you were making this. Oh yes, you'd be running down the stairs. I'd be bolting down the stairs, skipping most steps. And uh, to start off this recipe, we're gonna be doing the dry ingredients into the wet. So let's crack two eggs into our bowl. So okay. what we're gonna do is we have our wet bowl and then we have our dry bowl, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna crack these in just like that. And now what we're gonna do is give this a little bit of a whisk. To add in to this two egg mixture, I'm gonna go ahead and add in one and a quarter cup of milk. Look at this professional egg beater here, okay? Just like this. Now we're gonna pour all of that milk in. And we're also gonna add in while we can, our two teaspoons of butter. When working at home, you wanna use very high quality butter. Around here, I grew up with that. You always made sure we had really good ingredients at home, right? The best. Only the best, that's that we right. can afford. <laughs> that, we, that we can afford. So we're also gonna add in, I'm gonna add it into the wet, a little bit of thyme. This is thyme from Guyana. Mom was born in Guyana, and there's something a little bit more floral, a little bit more exciting about using products from there. The terroir is different, it's just really exciting. So here's our batter. Mother's mixing our milk and our eggs. We can go in, we can add some salt. And what's that ingredient we have over there? Oh, this is our vanilla, our homemade vanilla extract. We'll put tea, two teaspoons. Now you said that this is homemade, where is this from? This is homemade, um, fresh vanilla beans. We buy the vanilla beans and I, I just soak it in vodka for a few months and, and it gets really nice and dark. Using high quality ingredients it is- It smells this, really good too. It smells mm -hmm. unbelievable. Using high quality ingredients is an essential part of this recipe, which is also why we're using sun-kissed oranges. This blood orange recipe would not be the same without it. Yes. I'm going to do a little bit of zest from the blood orange as well. This is gonna help perfume that crepe batter and give it a lot of, uh, give it some beautiful feels, some beautiful smells. Into the mix, okay, that is the blood orange zest. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish up this crepe batter. Now this is whisked very well, and we wanna make sure this is whisked very well because we don't wanna have any lumps when we start adding in our flour. So I'm slowly gonna start adding in the flour, and this is for our crepe batter. Okay? Okay. And, and we're gonna switch here. I'm gonna get you to pour that in there. And we wanna get really, smooth this out of the way, really get this going here because if there's any lumps in the crepe batter, then it's not the way the recipe is supposed to be made. So oh, this is looking, no, no, it's totally fine. It's totally fine. Just with a little bit of elbow grease here and make sure you scrape down the sides of the bowls. Uh, Mom, the first time you made this for us, we were just little kids, my bro and I, and yes. this was always a family favorite for us. I think the beautiful thing about this recipe is it's not super heavy for breakfast. These crepes are gonna be paper thin and we have a really nice lump free batter. Our next step is to make the crepes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in a little bit of butter. This pan is on low medium heat. If your pan is too hot, then you're gonna burn the crepes, okay? And I'm gonna brush this in over here. Mom, when you were in Guyana, did you make any crepes there? Um, we didn't have crepes. We called it chota roti. Chota, and chota, chota means? Chota means small. Okay. Right? And roti, small roti. And um, some people called it dosa. Some people call it dose roti. Um, but basically, it's the same batter. Um, for the chota roti, we made it a little thicker, that's all. And this is the thing with recipes, and depending on where you are in the world, everyone has a version of something that's very similar. Yes. So chota roti, dosa, crepes, they're all very similar very things, similar. right? So here is our batter, nice and thin, just as we want it. That's the consistency that we're looking for. Our butter has melted, and what I wanna do is pour this into the pan while rotating out the pan so I get a nice, 
circle. I'm gonna come in with a little bit more and just right into the center. And as I move this around, this is a fairly large pan, you're gonna see it starting to set. And I'm just gonna give you a little look as to what this is. Adding the blood orange zest into this pan is such a beautiful thing because now you get crazy flavor. I don't wanna tilt it too much, but I'm just gonna leave that as it is. And this is our crepe for me now. When you're making this crepe recipe, you can add color to the bottom or you can not add any color. It's up to you. We're gonna go with color today because it's gonna further accentuate the sweet, vibrant oranges, brown sugar, and other flavors that we're using. So let's take a little peek and see if we got that color. Yeah, nice and golden brown. Quick flip. And there is a gorgeous, that gorgeous, really gorgeous nice. crepe, nice and round. We're gonna kiss this on the other side to continue cooking it. So as I flip this back over, just like that, you can see we have nice color on both sides. I'm gonna fold it in half, just like this. And then I'm gonna fold it again, just like that. And we have a beautiful quartered crepe. Now, mom, what we wanna do is, now that our crepe's done, we wanna make our sun-kissed blood orange crepe Suzette. But before we do, we're gonna play a little game. I'm gonna play a game with my mom. This game is called Guess This Citrus. Mom, are you ready? I am. I'm gonna give you a few hints. We have three types of citrus in front of you and we're gonna see if you can guess this citrus. Got it? Yes. Wicked. This first citrus that we're gonna do packs an antioxidant punch with 100% of your daily recommended vitamin C intake. I'm going to place it into your hand. Can you tell me what it is? It's got a seedless interior and it's extremely sweet in taste. Can you guess this citrus for us? <laughs> Tough one, huh? Okay. That's the Caracara. Cara. That is the Caracara. Cara. One for one, ding, ding, ding. My mom is a wizard in the kitchen. She knows her food extremely well. I knew that this wouldn't be too difficult for her, but there are two left. Let's see if she can go three for three. Mother, this next citrus offers a distinct rich orange taste with a hint of fresh raspberry. Now, I'd love to continue giving you hints, but you've obviously proven that you don't need any, okay? So can you guess this citrus here? Nice big gulp, I love it. I, I see I see the wheels turning upstairs. What do you got? The blood orange. That is the blood orange. Two for two, big surprise, okay? Mom, we have one left. And if you go three for three, then you are worthy of the guest this citrus crown, okay? This orange offers seedless sweetness with each and every bite. It is a timeless classic. It is packed with vitamin C and it's a perfect seedless snack Pleasant floral aroma. I'm gonna stop talking, put this in your hand. Can you guess this citrus? I really hope she gets this one wrong because she's got them all right. Mm, this is the navel. That's the navel and that's the show. Mom went three for three. You can remove the blindfold, my dear. Three for three, big surprise there. And it's time for us to finish up this recipe, our sun-kissed blood orange crepe Suzette. Good job. All right. Time to cook. So that was a really fun game. I had a lot of fun, you had fun? Yeah, I did. Awesome, wicked. We're gonna start with our glaze. Okay. This is the glaze that we're gonna cook the crepe in after, but we're gonna take some butter, and what we wanna do is just melt this quickly. Uh, tell me about this sugar. Oh, the sugar, this is demerara sugar. And um, where, where I come from in Guyana, it, it was a sugar estate, a grinding sugar estate, and so a lot of people in in Enmore, my village, right. they were um, working at the estates and, and we had the train tracks in front of us where they transported the molasses and the sugar and so on into the big city. Um, and I remember traveling to Guyana with you growing up. Yes. I remember driving by that, that Demerara plant and you can smell yeah. the... You can smell the... the the Caramelized rum. sugar. Yes, and the rum and everything, the byproducts of the sugar. I can go ahead and add in more blood orange zest. What are you holding there? I'm holding Guyana thyme. Why is Guyana thyme different than other thymes that exist? I don't know. To me, it's, it's it has a stronger flavor and scent and taste. And right. All kinds of stuff. When you are making your glaze at home, when you drag a spatula or a spoon across the pan, you're going to see that the liquid doesn't fill in immediately. 
which shows us that this is in fact reducing. So what I'm gonna do now is add in the Grand Marnier into the vessel. And you wanna bring this up to a nice simmer. So the raw alcohol flavor is just about gone. And look at this glaze that we have. This is exactly what we want. Now, as I drag my spatula across, you see it's taking a very long time for the liquid to fill in, which indicates to me that this is a nice, beautiful glaze. We're gonna drop that in, yep. And I would like you to baste it with this sun-kissed blood orange glaze that we've made, full of the thyme, the butter, it's seasoned with salt. We have really nice Demerara brown sugar in there. All these flavors come together to make a memorable dish that you will never forget. This is the power of cooking, bringing people together and making beautiful food, sitting at a table and sharing stories. This is what we love to do. That Grand Marnier flavor, mixing with everything is smelling amazing, right? Yes, it is. Just get underneath like this, <laughs> turn it on a little bit of an angle, and I'm gonna come, and I don't want it to overlap. This is a big crepe, huh? It's huge. Okay, it's there, a Devon perfect, crepe. it's a Devon crepe. And I'm just gonna put, look at the glaze now, guys. Oh. Very important that you see that. So you can see the consistency that you want to achieve at home. You don't have to flood the plate. So if I have a wee little bit left, be careful, it's very hot, but we don't need to add any more. I think that's just the right amount, right? And to finish this up, guys, what we do is we have segmented sun-kissed blood orange. So I remove the top and bottom of the citrus of the blood orange. So we want to put these everywhere. The thyme from Guyana is sitting on top looking really beautiful you don't want to flood the plate but this is looking great and then one last piece is going to go into the liquid there and this is my mother and i one of our favorite recipes i know growing up as a kid if my mom was cooking this my brother and i were bolting down the stairs this is a fun dish that we hope that you can make at home and put your own twist on it let's go ahead and taste this i already know i grew up with this i already know it's going to be incredible but let's go ahead and give this a taste let's cut into this and let's see how this looks <laughs> get a piece of the uh, segment there and then make sure you get some of that glaze that glaze is very jammy and looks perfectly it's just dripping very slowly so you know it's at a very nice consistency the whole kitchen smells amazing oh yes excellent so we're going to go ahead and give this a taste make sure not to make a mess Mmm. It is sweet. It is sour. It is jammy. It Herby. reminds me of breakfast time. Herbaceous. Herby. The zest that we put in from the blood orange really helps accentuate the orange flavor. Mm-hmm. Mmm. That's the one. Oh, Dev. That's the one. Wow. Makes my mouth water. Mm-hmm. The citrus is just coming through from the blood orange and... Mmm. Mmm. And here you have it, the blood orange crepe Suzette recipe. This is an heirloom beloved recipe from my family. And now my mother and I are sharing it with you. I wanna remind you to please subscribe to the Sunkiss YouTube channel. And sunkiss.com is where you're gonna find this recipe and a lot more. Thank you, mom, for joining. You're most welcome. And we'll see you guys very soon. And we hope you can make this and make it your own. For now, I'm gonna keep digging in.